the groups of young people that we work with, they are no longer interested in the traditional mode of providing information and services through booklets and, and all these other formats. So using innovation really helps us to address that in identifying new ways in which we could target uh, young people who are the core beneficiaries of our work. We are uniquely able to empower young people to come up with businesses that can enable them earn money and income. But two, we also use that process to come up with a solution to a development challenge that we are facing. The focus is to bring a new approach to sexual reproductive health challenges by leveraging the social business aspect of innovation. We start by working together with stakeholders that include government, that includes any other donors or NGOs and even young people to define what challenges they should address. From there, uh, we launch the Innovation Accelerator, inviting the young people to apply through an online portal. We carry out boot camps in schools or universities and try to explain what these challenges are about and what sexual reproductive health is all about. Those eco cards they will help those girls how because some girls they are poor they don't have money to buy other pads they use banana leaves handkerchiefs and clothes so the support has has really moved this project from i should say from the lab to to going out and searching for materials and improving the product they have introduced us to industries like Uganda Industry Research Institute. So the Up Accelerate program has really, really been helpful to us. We know that there is great potential in innovation. And we also know that we as governments are spending lots of money buying applications which the people in our backyard can actually develop. So we are seeing that and saying, let's support the innovation ecosystem. When the program is ended, we don't really drop the entrepreneurs. We still keep working with them and try to see how we can get them to a point where we are comfortable letting them thrive on their own. We are benefiting as young entrepreneurs. Uh, the fact that we received a safety net, you know, to kind of throw ideas together and to grow um, without the risk of we don't have enough funding, we're very grateful for that. <laughs>